for years, people who have low vision or people who are blind have had zero, absolutely no access to the app to the Apple iPod family. Recently, there has been a uh, solution for the older generation iPods, um, and by older I mean third generation nano or below. Um, I do not believe they work with the absolute classic ones. In other words, the ones going back to 2000. I don't. I don't know that for a fact. Um, it's sold by Maxi Aids. It's called the iTel, and this is a device that you plug into your iPod, and it will speak to you about. All the menus, everything is accessible. But here's the here's the catch: it's an additional one hundred and fifty dollars onto your iPod purchase. So that is a bit of a gripe. For those of you who have not seen the new Nano, there it is. Very nice. I thought it felt good in the hand. The curved design really helps with that. You can notice the screen is a little bit small. But that's okay, because you're thinking, well, why don't you just get the iTel? Well, guess what? We don't need it anymore. Starting with the fourth generation iPod Nano, if you activate it, the iPod Nano will talk to you right out of the box. Um, for those of you who are screen readers, you'll be familiar with this. For those of you who are not screen reader users, who I'm expecting are the bulk of this, please hear me out first. And for those of you who are screen reader users, please allow me a minute to explain. Um, a screen reader is a, a piece of software that talks to you, basically takes the information that is displayed on screen, and um, reads it to you through speech. And the way it reads it is through synthesized speech, basically a vocal speech synthesizer. And in the screen reading community, for those of us who use those of us who use screen readers are very partial about our voices. Uh, we sometimes can get downright warlike when it comes to what voices we like. Uh, but the reason I brought that up was because the voices in the screen reader can be used on the iPod. Now, this is not a screen reader on the iPod. Let me just make that very clear. This is not a screen reader on the iPod. What happens is the, I, the iTunes version 8, which is also accessible out of the box, particularly, which is a particular leap for Windows users, because JTunes, which is a scripting tool that used to make it fully accessible in the past, is no longer a requirement. But if you're a heavy iTunes junkie, you'll still need it for efficiency. Um, the iPod... No, no. Um, what happens is iTunes 8 will take the vocal print of everything in your library. Videos, podcasts, music, everything. And it will put those on the iPod, and you will also have the opportunity to navigate the iPod menus completely through speech. Now, it's, it's important noting that because this is the first time this has been done, not everything works. Uh, one of the biggest gripes I have, uh, from what I've heard, the clock is not functioning. And I think that's a bit of a negative because a lot of times if you forget your watch and your note taker is dead, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, a note taker would be a uh, PDA with a keyboard, basically a, an, a, an eye pack with a keyboard. You can think of it that way. Uh, so your note taker is dead and, you're, um, and you don't have your watch with you. Understand, I'm going worst case scenario here. Um, and you cannot have the time with you because um, the uh, the iPod clock is inac uh, inaccessible. At least as far as I know it is. They might fix that. I don't know. But you know, it doesn't really matter. That that's just a tiny little thing when compared to the fact that right out of the box, the iPod Nano is fully accessible to people who need speech output. Um, and I think this is a real. M a uh, real leap in in the community, in the um, community of people who are uh, visually impaired. Um, honestly, I, I love it. In fact, if I I'm, I'm, I need to be right up honest with you. If I had an iPod, if I did not have an iPod Touch, if I did not have an iPod Touch. I would get the Nano. I would get the new Nano strictly because of the fact that it talks. I don't have to worry about screen size or anything. 
um, since the since the Nano is not capable of browsing the internet or doing YouTube anyway, all you can really do is work with the media files, and the uh, speech output allows you to do that. So, the new iPod Nano talks out of the box. Wonderful leap in the tech in the field of technology for those with visual impairments. Thank you for watching. Um, comments are welcome, and have a nice evening.